Malcolm Lee, director, and I had worked on um, Life's Poison in 2010. Man, I think the first film I directed or helped to direct was something I did in junior high school. It was called uh, <laughs> it was called Cosmic Cow. I was fortunate to be to be uh, exposed to video making and animation very early, um, and at that time it was just something to just play around with, you know, ex you know, express myself artistically and just you know have fun with. By the time I was 19. I was a freshman, no wait, yeah I was a freshman at Georgetown and I knew then I wanted to be a filmmaker. I, by that time I had made a couple of short films in high school um, that I had, um, and, I, and, 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 I, and, I, and I saw that I could entertain people, and that people were, were responding to my work. I directed a couple of plays as well, so just, you know, sharpening my, my, my skill set, you know, directing actors and interpreting story and you know, working with lighting and um, things of that nature. Fortunately, filmmaking is something that um, I was, I, I liked doing and that I had a talent for. Um, and that my parents created an environment where they encouraged it. My first break was my sixth screenplay, which was the was was the best man, you know, um, that was a movie that, you know, I wrote the right script at the right time. You know, that's what I always tell people, um, and the audiences were ready for it. The acting community was ready to uh, embrace it, um, and the studios saw that they could, you know, make some money. The best man getting um, made, I think, obviously was a lot of hard work on my part. Um, a lot of years of writing and rewriting and rejection and your characters aren't quite old enough or your story is good but it kind of meanders and uh, there's no structure to it. Interesting characters, great dialogue, not really much of a big idea here. You've got their interest, but now you have to get the right talent attached. You gotta get the right studio to say, hey, we like this, we wanna make some changes. Writing is extremely important just because it allows you to express yourself, express something that you're feeling, express something that you have an opinion about. Um, and at the time, there weren't a, a, a ton of stories being told from an African-American perspective or from an African-American male perspective. And if it was, it was being told in, you know, kind of limited ways. Um, you know, the hood story or drugs or gangster story or, or something of, of that nature. And I remember seeing um, John Singleton's Boys in the Hood, summer of 1991. And I was very influenced by that movie also because I, I walked out of that, you know, being, being entertained by the movie and being affected by the movie and touched by the movie. And, I, and, I, and it made me say, I can tell my story too. Uh, I can tell a story that is reflective of my own experience. If I wanted to make movies that I was going to be a writer director, I wasn't just going to be a director because I wasn't... I didn't think I was that talented as a director just to take a story and, you know, interpret it. And if I was going to make a start in the business, I'd be able, I'd have to create my own uh, story. And I liked writing. Um, it's a, it's a, it can be at times a very cathartic process, you know, to just express, um, what, you know, a story that, 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 that I want to tell.